wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun um, We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Welcome back to a brand new video today We're heading to the shop I'm thinking Zara today. Now, I'm actually running a few errands, house-related stuff. Got a few appointments this morning, um, which I'll be vlogging within my renovation series. If you're watching, keeping up to date, we are renovating our house, which is a journey. It's a progress, and we're getting there. So, yeah, first thing, I'm going to see some quartz worktops, which is quite exciting. Um, but anyway, it's not too far from the traffic centre, my first appointment, so I figured I might as well pop in. I haven't been to that Zara. Well, I did go fairly recently, but it was that busy that I walked straight back out. So, I want to go have a browse, see if there's anything new in. Before we get going with today's video, before we head to the shops, I have a sponsor for today's video, very kindly, Ritual. It is a brand of daily supplements. I have the Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus. They do have another range or other ranges of suitable for all the family. They also offer men's multivitamin, 50 plus, prenatal, postnatal, kids, teens. These are vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen-free, contains no added sugar. There also is a little like mint tab in every container, so when you open it, they smell minty fresh. They smell amazing. I've never seen any other company do that before. They have a delayed release capsule design, which is gentle on an empty stomach. So you can take these. I personally take these first thing in the morning. Take two a day, every single day. So if you want to try it today, you can use the code and link on screen to save 20% off your first month of ritual. Even with a healthy diet, it's hard to get some of these nutrients within your routine without taking a supplement like so. Let's just show you the range of products and you can even track where they're from. So for instance, vitamin d3 is sourced from nottingham uk you've got omega-3 from canada vitamin a from switzerland vitamin k2 from oslo in norway so thanks again to ritual for very kindly sponsoring today's video i love them because it is so easy to have an all-in-one to include within your daily routine and the best way to get those hard to reach nutrients with a healthy diet within your body and system and mind so yes i am um, going to head to the shops now i may also pick up some lunch grab a coffee whilst i'm out as well so yeah let's hit the road and let's go brown sugar oat shake and espresso. Should we try that? Morning and welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you? Hi, can I try one of the iced brown sugar oat shake and espressos please? Yeah, sure, you have the medium and large. Uh, just a tall is fine, thank the you. The small one, yeah. yeah. Um, Anything else? And then, do you have a cheese and ham toasty? And a cheese and ham toasty, sure. We've got uh, the new strawberries and cream muffins for a pound today, if you're interested. Uh, yeah, I'll have one of those as well, yeah, please. Sure. Thank Is you. Is that That's it, thank you. It'll be 9.35 at the window. Thank Thanks. You. Oh, she twisted my arm. <laughs> it's only a pound. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks, bye. Right, let's park up. And eat. Right, let's give this a try, shall we? Oh, oh my god, the lid has just come off and it nearly went everywhere. Wouldn't have been happy with that. So, tall iced brown sugar shaken espresso oat something or other. You just heard me order it. <gasps> I love that. I saw someone talk about it in a vlog recently saying they weren't too fussed about it. I am obsessed. Oh my god. Oh, it's going to be really unhealthy. It's sweeter than I thought it would be. Mmm. 
Oh my god, that's my new favourite drink of all time. I feel like this in summer, if I'm feeling a coffee, and if I'm not feeling a coffee, then they're cool lime refreshers. The only thing with a cool lime refresher, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's expensive for what it is because essentially it's like lime cordial and water or whatever it is, but it's fairly basic, isn't it? But it's so good though, it's so yum. And I've got myself my cheese toasty and then my little one pound bargain muffin, which I'll probably eat later. I always forget there's a Five Guys here. I just wish they had a drive through. They had a drive through. I would have gone there, but never mind. I ended up having my appointment this morning and it's already lunchtime, so that's why I thought oh, I'll pit stop for lunch before rushing in Zara because I know what I'm like. I'll get hangry. So I thought I would pull in before we head over there. So it's already midday. The only thing is, whilst I'm here, I am tempted. There's a TK Maxx at this sort of side to the Trafford Centre that I've pulled in at. Mmm. So good. And I've seen they're doing a lot of their sort of yellow ticket, yellow priced, you know, when they're like super discounted. Lots of Zara and bits like that. So maybe we could do a TK Maxx Zara haul and then an actual Zara haul. What do we think? Okay, I'm in the changing rooms. I managed to find three Zara items that I like the look of. This one in a medium it does have the RRP of $27.99 and Da, 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 two pound fifty in the cell, so that's amazing. And then this, I love this play suit. It is, oh, I've just realized it's an extra small. That's not gonna fit. I, cause it was on this small tab, I assumed it was gonna be a small and I was going to say, I might, um, it might be too small for me and I would have been better with a medium. However, this, oh, I'm just not even gonna get it on. That's, it looks, it's labeled up as small there as well. Anyway, 12.99, it's really pretty olive green kind of colour. It's like a little play suit with a little tie waist. I just know that isn't getting on me. What a shame. I would have loved that. Anyway, I'm also definitely going to pick this up. No need to try it on. I have one of these already. My one's actually in the wash currently because I wore it yesterday, but in a medium. It's one of their iconic, classic, double-lined bodysuits. These are usually about 12 to 15 pounds. $5.99 and they did have several of these all in black though had they have got maybe the white I probably would have picked up another white but I don't feel like I need to pick up any more than just the one spare in that and then this isn't Zara but it is a beautiful linen kind of jumpsuit again this isn't a small so I might struggle to get this on but I love the kind of backless element to it and it is from Bershka so it doesn't have the retail price on but it's eight pound in the clearance this one so i'll try it on but again i feel like a medium would be better for me so this is the little top for two pound fifty i think it's a mega bargain it's a shame i would have preferred it if it had the bows on both sides or plain both sides either or um the fact that it's kind of odd like that i don't know if i I don't know if I like that. I could have done with putting some tan on for this video, never mind. Um, yeah, it is a little bit big, but there's no stretch to it. So I feel like it was a struggle to get over my head, but then there's excess fabric. So 
it's just a more relaxed fit I guess um, but I am gonna leave it because even though it's a bargain I don't know how much wear I would get out of this this is about all I can show you of this way too tight doesn't do up <laughs> It's a no from me. So I'm all done at TK Maxx. I've just driven now over to the Trafford Centre. I'm going to pop into H&M. If you remember from my H&M vlog that I did and haul a while back, the shorts, the linen shorts that I was obsessed with when I was trying them on in a medium, but they were just too big. And I was like, please have a small install. And they had one small left. So I just grabbed them without even trying them on because the medium was so big, I thought a small would be fine. Must be a different cut style or something. The reason why they're in this sale maybe because I couldn't even get the small on. They were that different to the medium that honestly, I'm just I didn't get the medium, but then at the same time, they were too big around the waist for me. But anyway, a bit annoying, but I'm gonna take that back. And then, yeah, I got the Zara bodysuit in TK Maxx. But then I also picked up this. Um, I've seen these online. Okay, so I watched this girl. Whenever I'm doing like my Amazon hauls, she always pops up. Whenever I've been shopping on Amazon, I can't remember her name. It begins with B. If I find out, I'll leave, leave her channel linked below. But she does the best Amazon home decor hauls ever. But she is based in America. But anyway, she featured this like as a guest kind of toothpaste a bit of a fancy one they've got loads of different um flavors and everything but this i thought would go in our spare bathroom quite nicely as a kind of guest toothpaste seems that we've got all chrome in there and after i watched her haul that toothpaste i was straight on amazon had a look and for shipping to the uk and the product it was about 35 pounds i thought i can't justify that for a blooming toothpaste so I saw recently that TK Maxx now do it. So obviously TK Maxx, TJ Maxx, they get a lot of stuff from America. So the fact that they have this now, it's only $4.99. So they had smaller ones as well. I think they were $2.79. And I do like the black one that they've got, but it's licorice flavored. So I figured how many people actually like licorice? Probably not that many. So I just went for the whitening one in the chrome. I went to put my seatbelt on then, but we're going shopping now. So anyway, finally, it's way later than I thought I was going to be shopping in Zara. So it's probably going to be busy. Let's get my H&M bag. Let's head on in and let's go shopping. On my way home, stumbling on the pavement, on the pavement, yeah, yeah. No sleep in my body, last night got me wasted. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody calling my phone up just to make sure I get home safe and sound. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I fall down and don't get up, nobody would care. Yeah, don't wanna be alone anymore. So I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked. Sleep with the doors unlocked. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked. Headache and sore throat, constantly hung over. Yeah. Eating all alone, sleeping on my own. Tell me how to be. Ain't nobody calling my phone up Just to make sure I get home safe and sound Yeah, I'm pretty sure If I fall down and don't get up Nobody would care, yeah Don't wanna be alone anymore So I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked As predicted, it's very busy, so I'm just going to try and fly through these these trends. But I thought I would just share with you all the codes and all the information, so that if you do see anything you like, oops. As I was saying, if you do see anything you like, then you've got the information there. Um, these are the codes that you search, by the way. This bit here, can you see? So, and then you can see the size as well. So in a medium, I got a few of these kind of corset style tops. I thought they'd look really nice with just jeans and heels in like an evening. I'll show you the other ones of that kind of style top that I got as well. So this one, 
if I flip it around, that's the, the front of it. Um, and then this is the code. I pretty much picked up everything in a medium, to be honest with you. $25.99 for that one. I got one in black, just as a bit of a different option. It's just plain, plain black. This is less of a corset style top, I guess. It's more of a dainty top with jeans or um, skirt even. $29.99 in a small, that one. It is 100% linen, that's what that one looks like. Then I also lastly got this one, which has like a kind of cut detail. $22.99. That's the code for that one. And then I did see, I tried to get a clip of it, the bodysuit that I picked up in TK Maxx down to 5 dollars They have them in store now at $15.99 in loads of different colours. This is a um, alternative, a newer style that I've not seen before. It's got this kind of boning here on the V and it's that same double lined fabric as the other one. So this is what this one looks like. They're kind of like a cheeky style which is quite nice. Now this is... Well, it looks a little short for my liking, but we'll try it on. In a medium, $29.99. I thought this would be a really nice kind of summer's evening dress. You know, when you've got a lovely tan, it's got the boning in the middle. But yeah, it is quite short. Then I also picked up this. The light is not doing it justice. I feel like it's really hard to tell on camera. But it's a beautiful olive green. It really doesn't show up well in this camera at all. The lighting is beautiful. So that is $49.99. It was on the last chance to buy. So if it is online, that's the code. If not, it might be like a last end of season. Oh, it's not a dress. It's a jumpsuit. Right, didn't know that, but we'll try it on anyway. Then I got this dress. It's just like a basic t-shirt dress. They had them in blue and white as well. And it's a really nice, oh no. Is that a pull? In a medium, $22.99. Probably won't get it now that it's got that. Then I've got this shirt. In a medium, $29.99. Kind of similar to how I've got this one on today. I'll try this, this one on first to see what it looks like over this, this outfit. But yeah, I love that colour. And then last but not least, these kind of linen trousers. Are they linen? Just says with linen, so I guess it's part linen. Um, yeah, $29.99 for them. They had them in lots of different colours as well. I thought this would be... A really nice kind of neutral colour for summer though because the darker colour I just feel like for me would pick up loads of lint and dog fur and that's not a good look so. They are quite relaxed fit. Can you see how wide the leg is? It's more like a balloon leg I think. Okay this is what this shirt looks like. I think from memory it's pretty similar price point to the one that I had on before from H&M. No. The one that I had on before from H&M was in the menswear section at £24.99. I've just remembered but I did have a H&M offer which made it £18. I can't remember how much I said this one was. £29.99 so yeah it is a little bit more. I might go and see if H&M do one in green as well because I am loving that kind of outfit. I've got a white one. I've got the beige one. But I would like, I quite like a green one. I've got these beige trainers in a green as well. Do I try H&M first? Yeah, I think so. Okay, this is what this top looks like. It's very square neckline. I do quite like that. It's a bit different, but I don't know if it's the most comfortable. I feel like because it is 100% linen, it makes it a little bit pricier at £30, but also a little bit itchier. So, like, you know how linen, some linens can be a little bit scratchy against the skin. So, this top to be worn in summer, I don't think I'd reach for it. I think it'd be a bit too, it's quite tight here as well here, like, clingy you know I prefer like looser fabrics in summer so yeah it's a shame because it is a really pretty top but I'm not going to keep this one so this is the bodysuit from the same kind of like bestseller that they do same material as that and it is definitely a really different cut it's quite nice it's obviously quite plunging quite low and um, you can wear a bra with this one though unlike the other one because the other one's quite racer style um so if you're more comfortable wearing a bra but obviously except that there's a bit of a plunge there but um it's just such a comfortable material these these bodysuits they're like a second skin this is the easiest no for me it's quite a nice length to be able to just wear high waisted jeans but it's just the cups are so weird they're just like all flappy and don't fit properly so yeah this is a no okay for the same price this little black one fits far nicer and it's got a zip which made it a lot easier to get into i've made my skin red raw from trying to get off that corset style one that i just tried on 
definitely don't recommend that one. Uh, but yeah, this is a far nicer fit. It feels more comfortable. This one's definitely the winner for me so far. Just the quality of it and everything feels so much nicer. It's £25.99 though, so a few pounds more. Mind you, I do still have this one to try. Although I'm pretty doubtful of this one because it's mesh see-through on the back. And, I mean, let's try it on. Yeah, I don't like this one. This one comes up too high on the sides um, for my liking. And yeah, I just don't think it's as, as nice as the other one. It also digs in here. Look at that. Oof, that's not nice. Not a nice feeling. It also feels a lot tighter. It feels like one of those ones that when you go out for food and you wear a nice top and jeans, but you can't eat because you feel too restricted. So, I mean, they advertise this one as a dress. <laughs> it's not a dress. It's way too short to be a dress, surely. Like, I feel embarrassed to show you the bottom because it literally is short so this one has the potential to be lovely but there's just a couple of butts and i do think it's to do with my body shape to be completely honest with you but for one it is short um like i predicted also the only thing is is i thought it was going to be a lot looser it is actually more fitted than i thought it would be the other thing is the top half let me just show you that that would be a problem for me <laughs> these straps aren't adjustable like some of their dresses similar to this are. These trousers are actually a lovely fit. Um, I do think they are designed to be sort of more balloon leg, but because I have big legs, they just, I'd say they fit quite nicely, quite comfortable and more relaxed. I suppose it's nice that they do taper in at the end so that they're not a wide leg trouser, yet they're not tight around my thighs. So yeah, I do like these. 29.99 though, I just feel like the actual blend of linen isn't the best. It feels a little bit itchy. Um, and I do think that would put me off reaching for them in my wardrobe. This is last and final item to try on. I do actually prefer this more than I thought I would. I don't like the belt that comes with it though. It's too, I just don't like it. Um, and I feel like I'd put my own belt with it. So I don't know if it's worth 50 pounds though. Is it? The colour is what I love about this more than anything. Um, it's a little bit short around the ankles and so I feel like with heels it would be not as dramatically wide leg and long as I'd like it to be. So yeah, it's a bit like kind of baggy around the bum area. I just, I don't love it so I'm not going to get it. Look, it doesn't even sit straight. Um, pretty old successful trip I would have thought. Zara would have been better but there's a lot of colour in at the minute and that's obviously like way out of my comfort zone and it's pretty bright bold colours as well so I feel like with those sort of colours you can only really, we well, don't, you can, it's not you can only wear it once but it's like a statement rather than I prefer more of a capsule timeless mix and match type pieces. So honestly, I'm struggling with Zara at the minute. I do love Zara home, as always. That's why I kind of prefer to do sit down hauls with Zara because I can get a lot of homeware bits as well to share with you guys. But yeah, for now, Zara's a thumbs down for me. Bit of a shame, but I'm going to get changed, head back to my car. Let's head back home and I'll see you guys when I get there. So I've just got back. Tom's actually here, I didn't realize he was here. So I might see, but it's still quite early and he's here. If he's not going out this evening or not got any meetings this evening, I might ask him if he wants to go out for dinner tonight. Have you seen our new shutters? Oh, I just, I'm so in love. It's still like taking a bit of getting used to because we've obviously just not had anything for a while. Um, it makes the room feel darker, but also cozier and more finished. Whereas when there was nothing on the windows, it felt very like exposed, you know, everyone could see in. Um, so it's nice to, have that bit more privacy but anyway yeah so we might see if he fancies going out for dinner or something tonight just to switch things up a bit i've come back to a bit of a chaos in this household we were having to go through and sort through everything um ready for when the basement's done to pop down in the storage room down there rather than carry upstairs so let me just show you what i'm working with we've got a few boxes on the sofa some bits over here, some PR bits as well that I need to sort through, some other kind of household bits that I need to organise. Whoa, maybe we won't be going out for dinner tonight. What's he got? Russell Hobbs, what is this? Slow cooker. Has he got a slow cooker? 
We actually got this recently from um, Salter. That candle's meant to go there. That's why he's moved that. Um, which I'm still yet to use, guys. I need to like figure out how to use it and actually get to work on it because I feel like once people start using an air fryer, they rave about it and never look back. He's just upstairs on a works call though, obviously. I mean, why do guys do this? Just, you know, close it after yourself. It's not hard. <laughs> It's clearly having like a wash situation since I've got back. But anyway, yes, I'm, I think I'm going to do a tip run because they have like a clothes bank there, which I have a bag of clothes there to donate. I've got some like little bits to donate. They have like a brick a brick charity type donation place there. And then this, I guess now that he's opened this, we've got all this cardboard. But we also have all of this cardboard in here. I think I'm gonna do a quick tip run now before I go and pick up Barney from, from daycare. I might even do the tip run and then go straight and get him. Mind you, it's a bit early. Car is all full up with cardboard, ready for tip run. Can't go out for dinner tonight, because like I thought. Tom is golfing, aren't you? With work. So looks like I'm having a solo dinner tonight. And that is, what have you cooked? Is that a slow cooker? That is a I sous vide chicken, that. Is that what a slow cooker is or a sous vide no, different? Actually, well, it can do slow cooking as well. So we could do like a chilling or something in it? Of course we could, yeah. Yeah, okay, well maybe. For when we don't have enough. And also we've got the air fryer. Yeah. We need to use that more, as, well, we, we need more. to use that. Oh, should I just have a Subway? It's a bit early for dinner. Five o'clock. Could just get a subway, you know. Right, tip run first. They're quite narrow, those um, the clothing ones. Okay, next stop, brick a brac. Look at the sort of stuff that people normally take, and then. The well, they're the generous. I'm a generous person. Rick-a-brack done. It's actually a really nice coffee table in there. I think Tom's eyeing it up. Golf bag for you. Better than yours. Was well, there a golf bag there? What golf bag is it? Oh yeah. Nice. Are you gonna have one? No. Oh. If that was a subway as in like Oh no, we weren't recording. Uh oh. Uh right, subway. How come we're still using that camera? Because it's a better one for vlogging with. The other one's better for like sat down haul type videos. Subway! Ugh. What do I have though? Because it's my evening meal, I would usually always get half a foot. Get a foot one. Half a foot? Is that what they call it? Six I inch? You might just get a six inch Yeah, because yeah. I'm I can't get a foot long. That's like a whole baguette. I don't think I've ever had a foot long. Maybe once. Oh, so if I get a foot long, you're going to have a bite of it? No. You're going to get a six inch? Yeah, but I will sort of about yours before. Oh, right. oh, so you're saying get a foot long. Um, steak and cheese, I'm feeling. And cookie and a drink? Got the goods. Now there time to, yeah. Now time to pick up our son and stepson. Because yeah. Tom likes to disown him when he's a naughty boy. <laughs> Don't like to be held responsible. Love you, Frey. Booty! Oh, bone! No, oh, foul! You see that big old train jump, jump up in our side? Hello, buddy! Did you have a good day? You don't know what to do with yourself, it's such a big boot! <laughs> Daddy! Daddy's come to pick you up as well! You think that he always stinks when he gets back from daycare. He's a happy guy though. He is one happy guy. You sit down, Barney. <laughs> He's 
like, what the hell do I do with all this boot space? So I hope you guys have enjoyed my little spend the day with me, come shop with me. Didn't even purchase much this time round, but sometimes nice just to get out, have a browse in the shops, not always successful, but um, yeah, had fun nonetheless, got my step count in. Don't forget to check out Ritual again via the link that I will leave in the description box below. Thank you to them for working with me on today's video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.